Hey guys, Ramsey here from One Stop Warehouse. Today we're going to introduce to you the SunGrow Hybrid Inverter Series, the RT. And we're going to be a four video series. First one unboxing, second installation, then the communications explanation and the uh, commissioning. So today I'm uh, in the company of no other than Scott Su from SunGrow. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm from SunGrow Australia and I'm a technical support engineer. Today, uh, we are going to introduce this brand new Sway Fader. This model is SH10RT, it's 10 kilowatt AC rated power, and this is Sway Phase hybrid in waters, so that it can connect to PV arrays and batteries both. Uh, it has so many features, and uh, firstly, uh, they are hybrid, not solar in water. Secondly, it has backup capability, that means uh, when the grid has the power outage, the inverter can still supply your house emergency loads. Even without batteries, the inverter can still do that. And also, uh, this inverter uh, can be compatible with uh, all mainstream uh, high voltage batteries, such as uh, BYD batteries and LG high voltage batteries. And to identify the model, you just look at the blue sticker on the box, and you can see here SH10RT. So, without further ado, how about we open the box up and have a look inside. Always cut away from the body for safety first. Sun uh, Scott will demonstrate now. And you won't have to worry about you know, damaging any product with the knife because it's already insulated by polystyrene and a lot of thick uh, safety parts. And now, we'll open it up. So, first thing you see is a thick block of polystyrene at the top. And as you can see, some grow extremely confident in their products. Clean power for all. Thank you for joining our mission. Very nice message there. And first thing you see is the uh, mounting bracket, the primary one. And it comes with a built-in leveler gauge, which is extremely helpful when you're mounting on the wall so that uh, you can always ensure the installation will be non-crooked and horizontally straight. So that's really cool. Thanks, SunGrow, for that. Take this off. And I will just drop the mic now to take out the inverter. Okay, the first things I want to emphasize is this, this inverter enclosure, this case. This is made uh, from aluminum and it has uh, AP65, IP protection level and the C5 anti-corrosion protection level so that this inverter can be installed uh, for uh, coastal and outdoor installations. Okay, the second thing is uh, this this hybrid inverter has this built-in deceleration, and this deceleration can comply with all relevant standards in Australia. In particular, this DC switch is is lookable. Uh, as long as you press this yellow button, you cannot switch this deceleration. And here is the inverter bottom. You can see it has so many terminals. From here is AC. Uh, it's PV string port. This one is 10 kilowatt in water, so it has three uh, PV string ports. And here, this one is battery, high voltage battery connector. And this one, this port is for uh, SunGrow uh, Wi-Fi dongle or 4G dongle. This one is hardware internet port. And uh, this area is communication ports. It's a uh, communication terminal uh, you can connect to uh, such as uh, the meter, smart meter, and the battery, also the DRM. Lastly, it's DO, uh, DO uh, port. This, this control port can be used for uh, uh, con controlled loads. Also, in the future, we, uh, this DO relay can be used for, uh, to uh, start or stop the backup diesel generator. Uh, here is two AC terminals. The left one is the red one. It's for the backup 
this one can connect to uh, the emergency loads, and this blue one will connect to the AC grid. Hey guys, now I'll walk you through everything inside the box, all the accessories and components. Uh, in the box, you have everything you need to get the inverter operational. So, you have the mounting bracket with the leveler gauge, as I explained before. You have the user manual. You have the DC MC4 connectors, a straight plug and play. And you have the SunClix battery terminal uh, connectors, all the mounting hardware. And then you have the straight plug and play uh, Wi Fi dongle from SunGo, a straight RJ45 connection. Then you have the communications uh, connector, which uh, has all the uh, pins that you need to connect. This is a RS-485 communications cable. Then you have the smart meter, three phase, and the two uh, AC terminal connectors. The backup and the AC, the exact same. And yeah, this is all you guys need to get the inverter operational.